Hey everybody, it's Ori from AstroWeb. Just wanted to talk about a quick thing um, that has come up lately with some of our clients. Um, and the thing is, that the issue is uh, tracking email marketing campaigns, email newsletters, email reach out, stuff like that. Um, so what you want to do is uh, when you send out emails uh, to your customers or clients or, or whoever it is, you want to track that your specific emails are actually getting clicks to your website so you actually know that your campaign is doing good so aside from open rates you want to know that they're coming to your website and and uh, converting um, and if you're just going to include a simple link such as www a, a um, you know example.com just your website you go to the home page you won't really see um, where it came from which newsletter it was if it was just uh, a, a direct referral from uh, a Yahoo mail or whatever it is. So what you want to do is really track what you're doing. So a uh, simple thing to do is just to go to Google, type in Google Analytics URL builder and all you have to do is simply put it, fill out all the fields with the asterisks, put it in and associate it in your email campaign. It'll track a lot of information. It'll give you um, just so much more as far as knowing what, if, what you're doing is great. Um, so I'll just show you how to use it pretty quickly. Um, so you want to type in under website URL the, the URL. Let's just say, okay, um, just yahoo.com. Okay, let's say you're sending to the home page. Now the source, in the case we're just talking for uh, uh, email newsletter, let's just call it newsletter1. Okay, and then the medium would be email and the campaign terms and content are, probably, are typically more for Tape, pay per click, paid ads, AdWords, stuff like that. And then um, let's just fill out name. So name would be, let's say, um, email weekend. Okay. And all you do is click on submit and you copy this URL. And that's it. You're just going to paste that in your email, um, in your email link, not just the www.yahoo.com or domain.com. You're going to paste the whole thing and do it. And so uh, one last thing before you do it is always check this URL. Don't, don't just send it in your email and that's it. Test it out because sometimes you know different PHP coding can receive it in a different way and you don't want your web pages to kind of break. So that's kind of an extra tip that we found sometimes that you need to do and always you want to test stuff. So I'm going to go here, uh, just test it out. Obviously it's Yahoo uh, and that's it. So use this. Very, very simple. It will take you much further. Okay? Hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Thanks.